hello and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you four ways that you can separate worms from your castings so here I have a container that is ready to be harvested even though it doesn't seem like it I have an empty container and as you can see it has holes in the bottom for your worms to go through I have some food scraps here and I have a piece of newspaper that's damp. Now you're going to start off by creating a space for that empty container. Just insert that in there and then I'm going to put the food scraps or the castings around there keep the container in place then I'm going to be adding the food scraps now for the food scraps that you're using you can use fresh food scraps as well as you can use some that was frozen and has thawed out you can also use food scrap that is decomposing now the two latter the one that is thwarted out and the one that is already decomposing will have bacteria developing on them which is what the worms feed on so those would naturally attract the worms faster this process can take up to two weeks or three weeks for the worms to actually come up in to the container for most of them to come in the container and so I'd recommend that you start it at least three weeks before you're ready to use the castings and I'm going to cover this with some newspaper to help keep down the fruit flies and this is one method now the second method I will discuss so one method of extracting your worms is by creating a pile throwing out the content of your worm bin creating a pile putting it in the sun or shining some bright light on it like you see I have here and then you're gonna leave it in the sun for a while the worms do not like the sun because light dries out their skin and if their skin is dry they can't breathe and so they will try to move away from the light always going down so each time you come and you take a little of the surface of the of the surface of the pile and you put it in your container so you keep repeating this process always taking off some from the top and scan it for worms if you have the time to do so and you just keep doing that repeating the process until you reach the pile of worm on the bottom those you can do whatever you want with them so this is one method of separating your worms from your castings another way which is a very tedious method and it was the first method that I used when I just started composting with worms is to and pick them so I would go through the entire pile of castings and pick the worms one by one and that takes forever the light it is the least effective method that you can actually use because it is so time consuming if you don't have a lot of patience you will get frustrated and so I would recommend that you use all the other options this is a last resort okay so the next method of separating them I'll be showing you shortly 
okay so I am going to show you the third way that you can extract the worms so this badge here I have used the light method to extract the worms and now I'm down to this point and everywhere I go in it I am seeing a lot of worms they don't seem to be going down much more than this at the moment so there are a lot of the little hatchlings in there if it was just the bigger worms then I would use the light method some, some more but a lot of hatchlings are in there and I don't want to harm them so I am going to use the third method which is the horizontal migration method so I'm going to be putting them in this worm bin I'm going to be putting some cardboard. And this sideways. Right. Now I'm going to throw the content in one corner. then after doing that I'm going to be putting fresh food scraps in this empty corner and what that is going to do because what is over here is finished compost with some amount of food scraps in there I'm going to be putting the fresh food scraps here and the worms the vast majority of them are going to be moving over to the fresh food scraps and then what's left on this side I will be able to harvest it and the paper that I just threw the content off do you see the amount of hatchlings on it cool. hundreds of them and the reason I have it I have them on the cardboard is because this box was made for this very purpose I made it for this very purpose to use it to harvest to separate the worms from the castings and if I put it in here on the board then a lot of those hatchlings are going to die if I have it on the cardboard however then I can always just take that piece of cardboard that they're on and put it in the worm bin and the worms would be safe but if I have it any at all on the board I won't be able to get them up because they're too small for me to take up so that is why I have them on the cardboard of course this process might take up to three weeks for the worms for most of the worms to move from here to here I don't mind that I have a lot of castings that I can use so I don't have to use this now and so I would recommend that if you are going to be using this method that you do it at least three to four weeks before you're ready to harvest 
the castings before you're ready to use the cars the castings okay okay so okay so now that we have discussed the four method of separating the worms from the castings I'm going to be telling you another method and this method when you start your worm bin you want to feed only on the bottom of the bin and you feed the worms incrementally and you keep on adding food only to the surface so you're not mixing the food in with whatever casting has been produced so you're always feeding just on the surface of the bin worms move up because they are top feeders so they will move up into the fresh food that you have provided and within the top six inches of your worm bin or the top six inches of the material that is in your worm bin that is where you will find the worms eventually so as you feed and the worms move up when you're ready to harvest you're going to take off the first top six inches of your bin put it in another container and then what is left on the bottom is only going to have a few worms in it and so you can now separate the worms from what remains by using any of the four methods that I previously mentioned also you can use more than one method to separate your worms from your finished product so for example if you're using this method where you had food scraps to a container and the worms come up in it then you can also after doing that you're going to be sifting what remains to get the finished casting so that you can put back the rough pieces into your worm bin when you have done that you're going to still have a few worms left in it so you can use the hand pick method which is very tedious but at that point in time only a few worms would have remained so it doesn't really matter or you can repeat this process after you have sifted the finished castings from the rough rough material okay so that's it for now if you enjoy this video and you'd like to see more educational videos like these then please feel free to subscribe to my channel you can leave a comment in the section below you can turn on your notifications so that you will know when more videos like these have been produced I upload video six to seven days per week so that's it for now I hope you enjoy this video. I thank you for watching and I hope you have yourself a wonderful day.